So you might be able to make me do a Cool Tour Tuesday, but you're not going to make me funny. Hi, I'm Patrick, and they're making me do a Cool Tool Tuesday, so welcome to, welcome to this. <laughs> this little bit brings together my two great loves in life. One is spiral router bits. I think they're fantastic. We have a couple of really great videos on them. One is here on spiral router bits, and then we have another video on compression bits. So this is a compression bit, which I love. My second great love is avoiding using my large handheld router and wherever I can getting away with using my trimming router for any job that will allow it. So to do that, I need a quarter inch shank. And if I want the really nice clean finishes that a compression bit or a spiral bit can give me, and I want to use my trimming router, then I need to use one of these bits. So you probably know all about pattern following bits. The bearing lets you follow a pattern or a template and lets you recreate shapes or get really nice straight crisp lines. And hopefully you know about spiral bits because I've been banging on about them for a long time, but the basic gist of them is instead of the blade just cutting the wood in one smacking knife, it's actually cutting it at an angle, which means you get really clean entry or exit. You usually have to choose. If that sounds complicated, watch the video at the end that describes how a spiral bit works. The compression bits allow you to get the top cut, cutting down into the timber, which gives you really nice clean edges, and the bottom edge cutting up, which means you get a really nice clean edge on both the top edge and the bottom edge of your cut, which is really important for wood that tears out a lot, or veneers, especially on end grain that have a tendency to lift, um, laminates, all kinds of things like that where you need this beautiful crisp line. The other reason that it's really nice having an upcut chunk on the end of this bit is if you're doing trenches, it gives you a really nice clean bottom of that trench. And if your trench is deep enough, you can actually integrate that with the downcut component to give you beautiful crisp top edges, really clean bottom. Again, all of those details are outlined in much much more detail in the spiral cut videos. I'm going to run through a few quick demos just to show you those edges. So by dropping the depth of the bit over the bottom edge of this stock that we were trying to cut and using a guide, we're able to use the compression bit the way it was designed so that both of those cuts are coming in off that face, which means that both of these edges are just razor sharp. Now, ultimately in furniture, you don't want razor sharp edges, but what you do get with this is just zero tear out of material coming up or down, which means I can run a really sharp plane along that edge to chamfer it or just run a piece of sandpaper and know that I've got that crispness visually that is just so nice and clean without losing any material. This obviously applies to veneers, really fiddly timbers that want to do nasty things and malamines and this uh, furniture grade black ply which I quite enjoy using. If you want to know more about this, and you should, or if you've been wanting to buy a compression bit but the big ones are just too expensive, jump on this. There's links below that you can click that'll go straight to the product. Thanks for watching. This is the last time you'll ever see me do a Cool Two Tuesday. Day.